Purple mist fills the area. All of a sudden, everything is really warm. Um, you guys recognize this sort of heat. It's the desert that you were, you know, huh, right? You know, here, I you're, guess. yeah, you're in the east. Um, you know, you're in the east near Penzance, um, and you guys are enjoying the shade of your tent. Um, you hear like liveliness outside as like the other members of the mercenary group are like, you know, enjoying things. And you have just like, you're enjoying the shade, maybe like counting some coin as um, you're returning from a difficult job. Um, you know, your sword's in the corner, like still kind of like got like, like coating of blood on it. And also um, in the case that all of us aside from Blight are just looking at our limbs of like. Yeah. <laughs> Um, let's quickly just mention for Dorheem, everything is normal to you for the rest of you, mm -hmm. everything seems a little bit bigger <laughs> as you are seeing the world from the height of Dorheem so why didn't everything seem a little bit uh, you know, smaller when I was in all the other ones because you're still short, you don't get to grow <laughs> well, you can only get shorter I get it. yeah, you can only get shorter man but yeah um so this is what it's like to be the size of you. Yeah. You are alone in this tent, so you can talk for a first time, pretty much. You want to talk to each other about things. It's whack, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, I'd like to leave the tent and go off searching after... Um, Marcel. Um, Marcel, yeah. Right, as I was going to make an ego joke. Just punch him. Punch him. He killed your mother, Junior. He did, yeah. I still hate him, actually. I don't know why I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, so you're like, you, like, um, Dorheem, like, something like, like, kind of like you all feel with, you all feel with this, like, feeling of kind of, like, anger. Not fair to say, Dorheem. Like, as you're going after <laughs> Marcel. Um, it's, it's more, uh, I feel like I have to for, for a moment, because he knows well, that he's going to get to, uh... It's like, kind of like, it's kind of both, like, you know, you're like, kind yeah. of like this, like, you know, oh, I'm finally going to do this fucker, you know? That kind of sens sensation, you know. Mm -hmm. You like you get to the, like, the the door of your tent, and you pull open, and you don't need to go very far to find him. Like mm -hmm. Marcel, your boss, like you know, he you like steps, like he kind of like steps past you into your tent. Okay, I'd like to stab him in the back if possible. Okay, give me an attack roll. Um. Okay. And the question: Does he consider me an ally? Um, yes. Actually, I'm going to say it no. It doesn't matter I, anyway. I didn't I'm, hit him. Okay, yeah. I'm going to say no, and you will be, you'll understand why. Okay. You, like, pull your sword, you, like, swing. He doesn't even seem to notice that you're there. In fact, he sort of stands, and he's addressing an empty space as if you were there. Mm. Uh, and he's, he, he starts to speak. Uh, he just, he just says, uh, <clears throat> uh, Mr. Dohim. Um, I'm glad you got back safely from your mission. That uh, that lion was killing, like, well, it was, it was, you know, a nasty, a nasty sort. Yeah. Um, I'm here to tell you that unfortunately, uh, our our organization is undergoing a change. Uh, the gnomish people they portray weakness with their stature, and due to that, your duties are no longer needed. You can pack up your things and leave. You better and get the union on this ass. He just. <laughs> He just turns and he's trying to walk past you again. Okay. <laughs> you hit. I hit. Yep. Sure. <laughs> it's uh, not JC because you're hitting from behind. Short lives matter. <laughs> I'm, I'm hitting. It. Did you, <laughs> did you just say the words? I'm hitting him from behind. Yes. Okay. You're just making sure. Okay. I get that you... much extra buzz. You oh. like stab him in the back. You and like you feel great when you do it. Like you've been waiting to do something like this your entire lives. In fact, all of you give me willpower checks, except actually, including Dorheem. All of you give me willpower checks, and we'll tell you exactly what happens in a second. Blight. Oh, uh, right. Okay. Um, just uh, junior to go. Okay. Uh, Dorheem, how much damage did you do? Uh, I did four damage. Everyone in the party takes four damage. Hey! <laughs> As you all feel like a cut in your back. Like, backstabbing bastard. You see, I can't take three more of those. Yeah. 
Um, did my did my party luckily... think that I was an ally? Do I get more damage next time? <laughs> no, no. That, none of us trusted you. Ally, because that plus D eight would be bah. killer. Like uh, literally, yeah. you know, you like this willpower check that you've just got, Dorheem. Maybe you like everyone in the room. The second you stab him, he doesn't seem to react, but everyone in the room's like ah, like you know, you know, they all like kind of like feel this sudden pain. Um, hmm. what do you want to do, Dorheem? What do you all want to do? Like, you just saw Dorheem, and, like, even though this willpower check happened, it felt great to watch Dorheem stab that asshole. I'm gonna be, like, as therapeutic as that was, for my health <laughs> and for our companions, please don't do that again. Hmm. Dorheem, what do you do? I guess I would start raising my sword very slowly in the, uh, Making it very obvious that I'm about to stab him in the back again. Um, don't please. give me a reason to shoot you. I'm gonna uh, fire an arrow at Dorham. Obviously. Yeah. Cool. Give me a give me a sh shot. Um, I'm gonna say that's like because like Dorham, like Dorham, you're making it very obvious that you like you're like you want to do it again, but. You're kind of oh, giving I, them a reason. I don't know if he's making it more obvious than usual, but I'm making it very obvious to the players. Okay. Yeah. You're. That's fair. So yeah. Um. We'll in say case any of them want to stop it in any way. Yeah. We'll make that a pass then. Yeah. Dorhe like you know because it's like maybe it's like the party just knows Dor what Dorheem would do at this point. They're like he's not going to stop. Whap. Shit. Like your sword like pings out and like lands in the sand beside you, and mm -hmm. Marcel the Honest just like strides out of the tent proudly. Like, he is just off deeper into the camp. So, um, you're all to pack up your bags and leave this place. I say we steal as much as possible as we do it. <laughs> that sounds like something well, Dorheem would have done. Yeah, I was going to say, we all have to think about what Dorheem would do. Yeah. Still as much as possible. I'm pretty certain everything in the tent is mine anyway. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you are in your tent. But you're also tiny yeah. and can sneak into other tents. Yeah. Orheim, what did you do in this situation? Um, I think I just left and then went uh, across the desert and joined some guild of some kind or another. Right then, pack your bags. Yeah. yeah. So you pick up, like, you guys pick up your stuff and um, you leave your, your tent. It's a long walk to the exit of the mercenary camp. And there are these, there are like banners proudly standing everywhere, like the mark of um, the Ebonhand mercenary group. Um, they're all over the place. Like, you know, it's a. <laughs> Sorry, Junior's <laughs> face. <laughs> like, Craig, you're feeling beautiful there. You're like, <laughs> um, it's a long walk out of the camp, and people are just staring at you as you leave. Um, like you can see like the gates, but it's like a parade down everyone else. Like it's like you know everyone larger than you, everyone larger than a gnome. Junior doesn't want to kill them, but Craig does. Is staring down at you guys, like seriously, like looking down upon you. You all feel <laughs> like you like as proud as you may be, you can't help but feel like a little bit like dirt the way they're looking at you. Mm -hmm. Um. And for the first time since you guys entered this sort of like this realm, you can see the pink mist, the purple mist, but it's not moving. It's at the end. It's like at the camp entrance, and you can see right. it from where you start from, like exiting Dorhim's tent, all the way down. It's but not coming to you away. this time. You just have to take yeah. that walk of shame into it. So yeah. That's good. Pardon? Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Okay. So heads down. <laughs> yeah, as you guys finally reach that pit, that purple mist, because we are coming to the close, so I'll just kind of run you forward. Um, you do eventually, like as the purple mist like en envelops you, um, and fades, you find yourself standing back in the sands of the Colosseum that we started in. Right. Like, you're in that pit, and strength is standing and applauding. 
the other me- like the other members that were sitting around him are clapping politely, but he is like you know this seven foot man like properly clapping his hands together. Mm-hmm. He he like leaps from the stands and lands beside you guys like like very gracefully like very like almost not even like moving the sand as he lands and he's and he says. I've seen so many get lost in there trying to change what happens or just uh, dying to the pains of their mind. It takes fortitude and courage to accept what has happened to you all. And it, it takes a true bond to experience what one another has felt. I am proud to say, and almost I'm almost sorry to see it gone, but I am proud to say that I will relinquish the shield to your party. When he said true nice. bond, I'm going to just kind of get door heat and a bit of a dirty plant. Yeah. But when he said relinquish the shield, I was straight at it. Yeah. He like he like he like holds the shield out to you guys and Dorheim's just like yeah. Mike <laughs> Um We'll talk Dorheim, about this. We'll talk Sorry. about that. I haven't written stats for that thing, so we will talk about that okay. later. Um but yeah. I was half expecting you to tell me it was ceremonial and there was no stats for it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um he does, however, like while we're talking about that now, he does say, I'd be very careful about that. There are a lot of people looking for it. Um, oh, we know. Yeah. We know. I'll probably have a drawback too. Yeah. Um, now, I can let, I, I will let, like, he clicks his fingers and Fool kind of like apparates beside him. He's like, Fool, my friend here will lead you back to your home. He'll lead you back to the gate that you entered through. You'll uh, go back to your realm. If you well. ever. Pardon? Okay, and he does say, like, if you ever do find yourself in our realm again, you have you have friends here in the court of Arcana. Um, yes. If you need your help, if you need help in the realms of Fae, you know, you you can trust in us. But for now, we would ask you to take your leave. Taro, the portal that you entered through only lasts so long, and uh, well, you don't wish to be stranded here. Not, not, not here for a week. Not here for longer. Yeah. In fact, there's just I'll find him. Everybody else can do if you want. And, okay. uh, get out of here! Get out! I'm of just here. gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna be like, thank you. You've shown me a lot of things I need to think about. Yeah, yeah. Um, you guys like like fool does what he was he was told to do and just leads you back to the sunflower field and the portal is still there. And, like, when you first, like, entered, for, like, saw this side of the portal, it was pushing you. Now you're getting that same pulling sensation. Cool. Uh, can we roll that started to, like, jump through and land in a cool pose? <laughs> you can try it. Yes, you can. Oh, that would be acrobatics, sorry. It would be acrobatics, for sure. Okay. Uh, because I can, as we're, le- as we're leaving through the portal, I'd like to say to Fool, yeah, nice to see you. Thanks for the shield in Sylvan. For fuck yeah, he he uh, he's he says um, says of course it's my job. Um, back to you in the same language. Okay, uh, Blight, do you want to do an acrobatics check to see if you flip through the portal? Go on, man. Give me a roll. Okay, so um, I was the second most epic. Yeah, so like it's kind of like a situation of like um, Jacques and Dorheim. Like maybe you're like. Is this something you all discussed? Because you all rolled it, obviously. You are all kind of like, guys, let's do a fucking cool flip when we land, yeah. right? Let's just say we arranged it before. Maybe we're still in sync. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, it's that's like actually our... a really good idea. You guys, are your brains are still kind of linked yeah. together. Yeah. So one of you had the idea, and you're all like, sure. Um, I was just going to think it's a Team Rocket thing. Yeah. We all pre plan this. But yeah, so Dorheim, Dorheim and Jacques kind of jump through, like, they're like, we're gonna go first. And you both jump, and you kind of collide into each other, so your landings are kind of shaken. Um, Junior, you kind of land, like, you and like you land in a decent way, and then, like, Blight is just, like, fucking smooth as shit as he lands. <laughs> and then, like, Odette is just like, you're back so soon! How long were we gone? How long was I out? About two minutes. Oh. You have the shield. Yeah. Like all of a sudden, like her attention is just snapped. She's like, "You have the shield." Yeah. Oh, question: Do I still have the marks on me from any of those combats? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Pain is pain, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna kind of just stand there, like really feeling the pain now, and be like, it "Definitely felt like more than two minutes." 
and yeah. kind of just fall collapse. to my knees. <laughs> yeah, just collapse. She's like, "Oh, Junior, I can. See, I'll see if I've got something around to to help bandage those." Uh, That'd be lovely. <laughs> just like, or, or I'm starting to see a pattern in these sessions, Craig. <laughs> Where you just add like, "Ow." I'm one of the ranged characters, and yet I take the most damage. I love it. Oh, I'm going to kill you so good one of these days. But yeah, so um, that is this session over, unless you guys want to talk to Odette about anything. Um, it's um, I was a friend there as well. Yep, he's still here. It's only been two Ooh. minutes, man. He's not gone very far. Yeah, yeah I suppose it's a second. Okay. Uh, no, I think that's okay. I think I'm yeah. okay for me. So, uh, again, before we end, do the part does the party want to talk to each other about any of these things? I'm being crazy, and you have shifty eyes. Yeah, <laughs> I'm having shifty eyes with both of you now. The only just... one who I I don't feel really hacked off with is Blight. Craig, let's both roll diplomacy. Okay, decide how we go. Okay, that's good. Okay. Um, oh. oh no! So let's start, Junior. What you are disliking of Jacques for being of the uh, order of, uh, for being of the Astral League, correct? Yes. So how how are you acting towards him? How are you? I'm basically, just giving him lots of like dirty looks. Okay, and Jacques, kind of, like you... almost like I'm going to spit in his direction. Okay, Jacques, what do you say? Um, I. <laughs> Sort of like look at him in a uh, like at, at first a little bit standoffish, but then just like we've both been through very similar experiences, haven't we? Perhaps. Um, we both suffered. Junior, do you think that you lost your parents? He lost his sister and his sister's like fuck toy. I lost my basically parents. Yeah, he lost his. Like, that. <laughs> but like, he lost he lost like an adopted family, and you can tell that by what you saw. Mm. You lost your blood. Like the only person who was actually his blood there was his sister. Yeah. Just calling you out on your bullshit, Tom. What bullshit are you about? <laughs> <laughs> you say adopted families don't matter. Jeez. That's adopted so people don't matter. God. <laughs> <laughs> Well, okay. oh, and you still don't know about me either, so in that capacity, yeah, you don't know about that in that capacity, yeah. So, um, so yeah, but for now, uh, Junior, like that diplomacy check will be able to calm you down to some degree. Okay, just gonna take kind of like a deep breath. Also, the fact that you're probably on some sort of medication for the pain, yeah, is probably true. gonna help like with that bandages and stuff. Okay, uh. Anyone else want to raise anything with any other party member? Just, just to remind the party, they, they now know that I'm a uh, vigilante of some yeah. sort. <laughs> we, but I can't remember exactly what information Luke is told. Yeah. I'm, I'm essentially... Also, I'm essentially I'm I'll quickly explain that just once. Uh, what uh, were you saying, Craig? What were you I saying, was going to say, I was essentially going to do the same thing I just did with Tom, but about Dorheim killing my mother in that dream world. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Dorheim give a diplomacy check. To see how well you uh, deal with this. I didn't do oh, very oh, there's well. no attempt to deal with it at all from my side. Okay, don't don't give me one. Yeah, no. you're like you're like you can't. What the me. hell is that? Yeah. Sorry, right, what do you say? He's. Uh, I was. I did what needed to be done. What needed to be done was that you should have left it alone. And let what would have happened happened. Well, I did kill one of them. I needed to take his place. Uh, give me a wisdom check, Junior. Just general wisdom. <laughs> like. Yeah, you, you like you can reluctantly kind of like admit that like, you know, it, there was a chance like what Dorheim just said. Yeah. Is very like there's no way that you could be certain. You know, maybe if Dorheim hadn't taken like his hadn't killed your mother when he did, maybe you would have had to watch your dad die again and then your mother die. Um, you know, you think for a second that just like maybe like his your mother was going to die anyway. 
bib, like by whose oh. blade does it really matter? I'm not sure if I can forgive you, Dorian. It's like a single tear. It's like, no, no, forgive me. It's just like crying that's off, like, slam your bedroom door. Uh, as long as you're still able to shoot the right targets, we'll be all right. <sighs> well, he's never been able to do that, so. Um... <laughs> so, um, I believe we are done for this week. Um, all the party members, um, you gain 1,500 experience for all that bullshit that I made you jump through. The party um, has got closer in some respects, got further apart in others. Yeah. Yeah, I think we've all like, sort of alienated ourselves from Dorothy even now, just the fact that he killed it, it... her mother. They seem to be blank on uh, this whole vigilante thing. None of them seem to... Oh, shit, sorry, I completely forgot to mention that. Uh, Apart bad. from Junior, who has a reason yeah. to be blank well, on Well, um, you remember, yeah. you remember um, like, like, it's often done on his intimidate. It's done in your intimidate check, wasn't it? They both passed it. So Dorheim does this thing, which is what he does intimidate. Oh, it was done on the damage. Yeah, but it's off the intimidate. Uh, yeah, it's, if yeah, the yeah, intimidate yeah. works... Yeah. So yeah, um, Dorahim has this thing where he glow, like he makes like kind of like glowy red stuff happen when he's um, intimidating people. That is correct, right? Close enough. Yeah. Yeah. There Close we go. Um, and you remember like the serial killer that was killing people in? Uh... Yeah. No. Yeah. There's kind of this like you know. Um, <laughs> there's kind of a pattern here. Um, the, the small hand, the, you... killer, the killer that is being looked for in Woodhurst. Um, for certain, some of those kills, the ones like maybe some of the kills that aren't um, the ones that you guys did as a group, were Dorheim individually. <laughs> so, so when we were talking about having killed that child and everybody thinking it'd be the serial killer. It was. We were actually fitting door. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, I didn't do the first one. No, you didn't. The first child. <laughs> no, like, you were no I mean, the absolutely first killing. To, to, to oh, right, yeah. We were pinning it on the serial killer, though, who would have, like, killed the child. And in the end, you were still an accomplice. <laughs> to that. I've just realized I think Tom's frozen, or he's just like. No, his eyes moved. <laughs> okay, you were just perfectly still for like at least a minute. I was like, "Is he frozen? He's not blinking. That, that's Is he all right?" Brilliant though. And now I, <laughs> that cool. it made me angry. Okay, okay, but yeah. So you guys gained one thousand five hundred experience and the shield of Sidam. Why? <laughs> yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, people, and we will see you this time next week on a Wednesday I'll, again. I'll have a look. Might not see you next time next week. We'll talk oh. about it after yeah. the we end. <laughs> I want to play, damn it! <laughs> okay. We will see you. Bye-bye.